Colonel Lee Ellis joins us. He was a Vietnam POW. He's a nationally recognized expert and much sought after speaker on leadership to public and private organizations. He has an award winning book called Leading with Honor. Colonel, welcome to the program. Hi, Ernie. Thank you. Good to be with you. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I do appreciate it. Yeah, these uh, this individual who leaked the NSA surveillance program, uh, people have been debating this now for the last couple of days. Is he a hero or a traitor? Well, I think uh, he leans toward being a traitor right now. There may be something heroic here, but I haven't found a lot of it. Uh, the more I learn, the more I am very concerned about it because of the damage he's done to our country. The real issue is he's kind of taken it upon himself to be judge and jury and to make a decision, 29-year-olds making a decision that significantly impacts our country. And we have senior leaders that are capable of, of helping him if he was really concerned that there's a problem. And that's what he should have done rather than take it on to his own and give it to the media in, uh, in the way that he did. And now it's going to be released and released more and more. And it's really going to damage our national intelligence and certainly undermine President Obama in his negotiations and discussions with the Chinese. So there's not much good that's going to come out of this in the short term. Uh, there may be some things we need to know uh, about what what is uh, the surveillance that's going on. I do believe that as more comes out, it appears that most of the people that needed to know did know what was going on. I know that uh, it is it is controversial for a lot of folks, uh, and some I, I find it's rather interesting. It's created some rather uh, unusual political alliances. This is, it doesn't seem to be a, a party line type issue. Yeah, that's true. Um, in some ways, we're very concerned right now about our government and what they're doing to intrude into our lives and to impinge or impede our freedoms uh, for all the other things that are going on right now with the other scandals. And so we have a heightened awareness of government and its power. And so this drops out and reminds us of the power of government. And uh, if the people in government are not being honorable and doing the right thing, then uh, they can certainly uh, get into our lives in a way that's, that undercuts our freedoms and really could destroy our way of life. The problem is when you've got someone uh, doing what they think is the best thing and, and evading the law, then they're taking the law into their own hands. And pretty soon, if everybody did that, you know, we would have a banana republic. Is this type of program necessary for national security? Uh, you're talking about the scanning of data? Yeah. Well, you're asking somebody who's not high enough in the food chain to really be able to assess that. I do think that being able to be aware of data, and especially those who are, uh, you know, not Native Americans who are in our country for the wrong reasons, we've been able to scan that. I think that's really helped us to avoid some uh, more 9-11 type events. So I think we're going to have to have something like that. It's just uh, being able to limit it and know that it's not being con- being used to get into the lives and, uh, you know, the politics of everyday Joe and Jane Doe. Colonel, do you think that uh, the revealing of this uh, information is uh, is going to make the program useless? Well, it certainly has undermined it because it's tipped our hand to all our enemies of what we're doing. And so now they're going to have to, you know, this is the way it goes in intelligence and counterintelligence. That when the enemy finds out what you're doing, then they have to come up with something new to go around what you're doing to try to intercept them and to shut them down. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a real uh, damaging to us, I think. And uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. But it's not, it's not going to be a good thing. Do you think this would have been treated different in a different era? Mm, how, how we've responded well, to this? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's as I said a minute ago, it's high in our consciousness because yeah. we've seen some government intrusion into our private lives and to uh, using political purposes to achieve their goals of shutting down political opposition. And that's pretty obvious. Both sides agree that's happened. So we've seen government intrusion in ways that they should not have done. So this that makes us more suspicious of what government's doing. And so this just really uh, raises more concerns about that. And I think it is probably a good time to take a look to see what was really going on and to make sure that responsible people in both houses, of both uh, sides of the aisle, so to speak, and in th- all three divisions of government know what was going on and they understood what was going on and given their permission. Colonel Lee Ellis, look for the book, Leading with Honor. Colonel, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ernie.